G'day fellow Moto Vlogger, the Van and Avon uh, Ruby the Suzuki Bandit on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. Okay, uh, the report on uh, the Mobry Hospital visit for my flexible cystoscopy. Um, I got up there at 7 o'clock and waited around for about eight, an hour and a half <coughs> uh, waiting to go in. I was first cab off the rank and uh, they had a little bit of trouble getting the, uh, the, the camera in because um, my, um, well let's say the medical term urethra was uh, well, ha how did they say, or uh, th sort of, well, it needed stretching. It was, um, it's probably because I've had all these catheters and BCGs and all sorts that it's uh, thinned out the, uh, the area where they've got to get through. and So they had to widen it a little bit. And uh, they did that. Did I feel it? No, no, didn't feel it. But they got into the bladder and had a look around, and I was watching it on the screen. And uh, <coughs> she said, uh, "Everything's clear. Um, can't see any uh, any cancer anywhere." So uh, that was good. Um, but I tell you what, from what I saw, there's a heck of a lot of scarring in there, so <coughs> whatever they've done, they've really uh, had to, um, well, cut out and treat and whatever they have to do. Um, so there's a bit of scarring in the bladder. Um, and of course they filled me <laughs> they filled me bladder right up and I was desperate for a wee and I was sitting there shaking me leg trying to hold it and all that sort of thing and so the first thing they did they wheeled me to a toilet and <clears throat> I had to pee in a um, one of those I don't know whatever peers or <laughs> and uh, so they could see that I'm going to the toilet okay because if, if they if you don't well they they won't let you go so um, I got out about um, around about 10 half past 10 roughly around about that and uh, as I was on the table she says I would um, have you had a catheter in at home before I said yes I said, well, you, I'd like you to see if you would have one, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And I said, well, um, I prefer not to have a catheter, thank you very much. So I haven't, but because uh, that, that tends to make me a hell of a lot worse. Um, um, so luckily I didn't have the catheter. The only reason they wanted to give me the catheter is because they stretched me a little bit. And um, I said, no, I'd prefer not to. So she uh, gave me a prescription for some um, antibiotics. So I got them and I'll start them tonight. Um, it's only for four days. But... Uh, that's another thing I don't like is the antibiotics because they, uh, they tend to upset your stomach a bit. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, I've, about an hour and a half ago I had some news that one of my uh, cousins passed away which is uh, a very big shock to me. Um, because he was younger than me and uh, he lived over in Perth so unfortunately I'll just get under the wires 
unfortunately I can't go to the funeral because it's just too far away and this costs too much um, which is a shame because I would have loved to have gone and paid no last respects etc um, the last time I saw Stephen was um, at my mum's funeral he came down whilst she was in hospital uh, at the Mobbury actually um, and visited her before she died and um, uh, come to the funeral of course stayed down until uh, the funeral was over so that's the last time I saw Stephen so unfortunately I'm never going to see him again now <clears throat> you're wondering um, you know people go and all this sort of thing it, it, it's a bit like losing a brother because um, I had I had no siblings but my mum and my auntie Joan were twins mum had me and auntie Joan had nine and Stephen was a part of that nine he was the third youngest and uh, the families have always been extremely close because of mum and auntie Joan being twins uh, I did live with them for five years and uh, well they're all like brothers and sisters to me to be quite honest so yeah uh, I'm extremely sad um, and uh, have a bit of therapy out on the bike today as I am now and letting you guys know um, how the uh, flexible cystoscopy went so there's good news and bad news that I lost um, a cousin, first cousin, Stephen, over the over in Perth. So on that bit of a solemn note, I'll bid you all very, 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 very safe riding. And until next time, cheers for now.